background of the queen photo with first biracial brand try, Archie. Meghan Markle felt ground at photos of Queen Elizabeth II with baby Archie, her first biracial grand child, a new biography reviews. The Duchess of Sussex took her first son to meet his great-grandmother in May 2019, immediately after the couple introduced a two-day-old Archie to the media. Prince Harry and Meghan's mother, Doria Raglan, were with her as they posed for pictures with the Queen and Prince Philip. New biography Finding Freedom says Meghan felt proud at the moment because it's brought much needed visibility around race and inclusion at the heart of the monarchy. The book reads, The moment was later shared in a photo on social media. All five adults around Archie and the first biracial grandchild of the Queen. The picture, taken by the couple's personal photographer, Chris Allen, was a hugely significant moment for the royal family. There, for the first time, was much needed visibility around race and inclusion at the heart of the monarchy. That made me brown, Megan to a friend. The picture was added to the Sussex Royal Instagram account alongside a message confirming the baby's full name, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. The post read, This afternoon, their Royal Highnesses introduced her Majestic the Queen to her eighth great grand tribe at Windsor Castle. The Duke of Edinburgh and the Duchess Mother were also present for this special occasion. The book was also reveals the couple as Prince Charles to intervene so Archie is not automatically made the prince when his grandfather becomes king. Grandchildren of monarch take on the title by default unless an intervention is made and Charles offer to issue a legal instruction to keep Archie title free. A source told authors Thomas Gobi and Carolyn Duran to not have the senior role in the royal family but to have a title is just a burden. Fighting Freedom claims Archie badly cried in the early days of his life and the young parents found him so quiet they found themselves wanting to check in on him to ensure he was okay. However, the book was also reveals the rift between Meghan and her father, Thomas Rep. However, the book also reveals the rift between Meghan and her father, Thomas Markle, had become so deep she asked her mother to tell him about the birth. The authors write, Doria messaged Thomas with the news, which Meghan had asked her to do. The new mother did not want him to find out after the rest of the world, but she didn't want to know whether her father replied to her mother's text. There has been heated speculation around whether Harry and Meghan cooperated with the book's authors, which both the Sussexes and the two writers deny. The Daily Telegraph reported on the line in author's note at the back of the book stating, We have spoken with close friends of Harry and Meghan, royal aides and palace staff, past and present, the charities and organizations they have built long-lasting relationships with and when appropriate the couple themselves. However, Scopey posted on Twitter today, let's make one thing clear, there's a huge difference between exchanging a few words with a member of royal family on an official engagement or a tour to actually interviewing them.